We begin this half hour in Abuja where the trial of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekanu, has suffered a temporary setback as the court has adjourned till 21st of October for the continuation of trial. This is because Justice Binta Nyako is insistent that the defendant must be present in court for the trial to commence. Moments ago, counsel to the federal government, MB Abubakar, made an observation before the court saying the presiding judge, Justice Binta Nyako, cannot continue with the case as the court is on vacation. And there is no fiat from the chief judge to continue the matter. But in his response, counsel to Nnamdekano, if I age your four, noted that he was not put on notice by the prosecution and do not know why the defendant is in court. Justice Binta Nyako held that she cannot continue with the case as Mr. Kano is not in court or continue with his case of practice as the prosecution ought to have applied for a fiat. Justice Nyako made an order that the defendant be granted access to his lawyer and an earlier order on his remand subsists. The order for his access to his lawyers, the judge says, will be regimented. Counsel to Mr. Kano insisted on moving an application he filed on behalf of his client which deals on his fundamental rights, claiming that the safety of his client is very important. Earlier, major entrances leading to the Federal High Court in the nation's capital were cordoned off by heavy security presence. After hours of waiting, a few lawyers and journalists were allowed access into the court room, but were asked not to film the arrival of Namdi Kanu as he arrived at the court. Mr. Kanu is the leader of a group seeking the breakaway of a significant chunk of southern Nigeria, to form a Republic of Biafra. He was first arrested by Nigerian authorities in 2015 on an 11-count charge bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, managing an unlawful society, publication of defamatory matter, illegal possession of firearms, and improper importation of goods, among others. The federal government is expected to bring new charges against him today. Mr. Kano had fled Nigeria in 2017 after he was uh, after he, after he fled after an invasion of his home by the military in Faraoko near Umahia, Abia State. Before his recapture by Nigerian authorities, he had been cited in Israel and had continued to rally supporters in Nigeria to employ violence in achieving secession. Mr. Kano was intercepted on June the 27th and was repatriated to Nigeria in a shadowy operation conducted by Nigerian security operatives in collaboration with international partners.